Welcome to what's about to become the new Strange Park shop. This is going to be the grinding, welding, sawdust, messy part of the shop. And then in past this doorway here, this is gonna be like the machining part of the shop. Mill, lathe, laser cutter, and then upstairs is gonna be the proper clean part of the shop. So this is computers and electronics, 3D printers. I have been working on getting this ready for the past like month. The uh, garage here hadn't been finished. It just had drywall hung, but it hadn't been mudded or taped or painted or anything like that. Little did I remember how long drywall takes, but I finally got it done. I'm ready to start moving in. I am so psyched. I'm so, so ready to be making videos again. That right there is my microscope and it's heavier than it looks. That's gonna take me a while to bring everything upstairs and get it all set up, but there's something else I need to address, which is there's no railing on this staircase and I keep being afraid that I'm just gonna tip over the edge here and I don't need another concussion anytime soon. So time to make a railing with some strange parts flare. The railing's in, it looks awesome, but now I need some desks to go along that wall. These two aren't cutting it. The machine shop, the clean shop here, is starting to come together. I've been putting stuff on shelves. I just, I couldn't deal with the chaos. The dirty shop, on the other hand, is looking pretty sweet. It's finally functional. I have lots and lots of room for the welding table here so I can get on all four sides of it. Let's build some desks. One desk in place, let's make a second one. There we go. They look good, but they look kind of empty. That's more like it. I'm not quite sure about the layout because all the electronic stuff is kind of crammed down at this end, but there's a reason. It's because I wanted the computer here because when I sit down, this is my view. Next, I need some lights where these wires are sticking out of the ceiling. And I think I need something with some personality. So let's see what I can whip up here.
I got these cool oversized GE light bulbs that I thought would go really nicely in here. Check this out. That looks pretty sweet. I want to do something else in the middle. I want to do a flood lamp like this just to light the room a bit better. These, if they're too bright, are just going to blind you. So I'm thinking that there, but I don't want this to be bare. I was thinking I'd make my own hood out of a mixing bowl from the grocery store or I've got a paint bucket. I think that looks too cheesy. I think I'm gonna go with this. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, hey! It's looking pretty good. I've got one more big thing I want to do. This space up right here feels very empty. And I want a place to hang lights off of. This is my uh, grandfather's heat kit ham radio that he built from a kit uh, way, way back when, when my dad was a kid. And this is his old Morse code signal key. This is uh, from the UV printer video. This is homeless Elvis and I have plans for him. I am super pleased at how these shelves turned out. It finally feels like a real shop and it feels like it, it feels really close to done. But there's one more thing I think I have to do, which is I need to make this floor a little quieter and a little bit more interesting than painted plywood. And I have just the thing. Now that really ties the room together. 
I feel like I've only barely scratched the surface of all the things I've got going on in this new shop. So I made a much longer shop tour video covering things in way more depth. You can watch it on my streaming platform, Nebula. Nebula is a streaming platform made by creators for creators. It's gonna allow me to experiment with different kinds of content without having to worry about finding sponsors or appeasing the algorithm or getting demonetized. And best of all, there are no ads. We have some of the best educational content creators on Nebula that you already know and love, like Real Engineering, Wendover Productions, Half is Interesting, and Real Life Lore. But if that's not awesome enough, the best and cheapest way to get access to Nebula is through this incredible bundle we put together with CuriosityStream for only $14.79 a year. You'll get access to thousands of award-winning documentaries on CuriosityStream. Everything from Edward Snowden to China to manufacturing and nanotechnology to the incredible David Attenborough. And you'll get Nebula bundled in for free. It's not a trial. You'll have it for as long as you're a CuriosityStream member. It really is the best deal in streaming right now. It's a great way to support my channel and so many other amazing creators. So click the link in the description or go to the URL. Clicking that link really helps my channel as I get started making videos again here. Thank you. I am really excited to be making more videos. Building out this shop took way longer than I expected. I thought maybe a month and it's turned into more like six months. And you know, like all good shops, it's never really done. There are tons of things I still want to do. I have plans to put more shelves up and I want to uh, put some smart dimmers on all the lights and uh, tons of other projects to keep working on in the background here. I'm also really looking forward to having other creators come visit. Um, I've got a guest bedroom and this is an awesome space to do collabs. So I'm hoping to do uh, some of that in the coming year here. A bunch of you have been asking how my head is doing. It's doing so much better. Thank you for all the well wishes and concern. Uh, I'm still getting headaches pretty much every day, but they're much lower level and much more manageable. And I'm able to work pretty much a full day and be making videos. A bunch more exciting things coming up here. I wanna get a proper CNC mill in here for a bunch of projects. I wanna start modifying iPhones again. And I'm hiring. I'm hiring a camera operator editor combination position. Uh, there is a link to the job posting uh, down in the description. If you think you're a good fit or you know someone who might be, um, please take a look. Otherwise, I'll see you again in the next video. Take care.